Since people seem to have lost their motherfucking mind yet again, let me tell y'all this shit here. I am not an antichrist. I am not no great temptation. I'm not the great whore. Right. That's supposed to be the great temptation and lead everybody to hell. Since 2019, what does the venue say? Get the fuck off my business. Get the fuck off my page. Get the fuck on about y'all business. Me and my husband are playing Where's Waldo. Me and my husband minding our fucking business. Go the fuck away. No, because this is what people have been calling me. Excuse me. I didn't tell any of you to watch me. I told all of you to get the fuck out of my life and business. Now, dear church, why are you calling somebody all this bullshit? What the fuck did I tell the church? Get the fuck on out my motherfucking business too. Right. Show did. Excuse me. Anybody that want to know about God for real, because I'm not a pastor and I'm not preaching and I'm not teaching. What you do is take your ass to your local church, ask God, pray to God for to send you to a local church that he approves of. Go to a local church. I don't care if you don't pray or not. Go to church. Get out of my face. Go to church. Get out of my face. Right. Because I know how people are. I know how people are. Right. And I know what I was going through. So I already knew what the church was going to go through. Go, go with this. Number one, I'm a female. Number two, I'm sexy. Number two, get the fuck out of my business because I'm married. Right. And I don't present myself like a whore. Right. I didn't ask anybody to follow me neither, did I? Nope. I said, everybody take your ass to church. Get out of my fucking face. Right. Because I had no intentions on even teaching the Bible. Right. I wasn't supposed to be, I was supposed to be gone. Being a what? Psychiatrist. Thank you. Right. Wasn't thinking about none of that stuff. Right. Yes, it's in me. Yes, I wanted to do this when I hit like 60. Right. Yeah, I want to be a pastor when I'm like 60. If It's God's will. I'm how old? I enjoy having sex with my husband. I enjoy having me some alcohol every now and then. I used to love drinking, but now I, I, you know, I don't. I ain't, right. So, and I smoke reefer. Right. Uh-uh. That is not the criteria to be in nobody's goddamn pulpit. Right. Right. That's why I'm not. That's why I only tell, I only, uh, I only, um, if somebody asks me a question, then I answer that. Right. But, uh-uh-uh. I know how y'all are. You see, the, you clearly see who the fuck, the Antichrist, the great whore, the great temptation, whichever. It's not me. Because I don't ask y'all for no donations. I don't ask you to watch me. I don't ask you to do shit. Right. Right. I don't tell you how to be a Christian either. I tell you to take your ass to God and you will learn how to be a Christian. Right. I'm sitting on camera for my husband. Once again, I told y'all don't, don't watch me. Right. When nobody was paying me no attention. Right. I'm on camera for my man, not y'all. Because my man was off working. And he was teaching me how to be on camera for other people because I was very shy. Oh, my wife don't understand what she going to be doing. She has no clue. She's going to be mad as hell when she find out what's up with her real life. Right. So let me get her used to being on camera. And then I got totally disrespected for being on camera. Loving my husband out loud. Loving my children and family and community out loud. Loving my country out loud. I got totally disrespected to call the goddamn antichrist and a motherfucking great whore and temptation. Do not watch me yet again. What did I say earlier? Right, I said some vulgar shit. Why? To get people to get the fuck on. And you still don't. You sit around like, mm, let me see what she talking about now. Oh, nasty bitch. No, your mother a nasty bitch for giving birth to your trout ass. Right. The fuck from around me. And stay the fuck from around me. Don't worry about what I talk about. Don't worry about shit. Take your ass to a motherfucking church. Go to Cockfrost Convent since that bitch can have a nice picture up with no problem. I'm not paying y'all for shit and I don't give a fuck about shit y'all got to say. Never did, never will. You talking about my husband. Calling him gay. Calling him a child molester. Saying that he was cheating on me. He Right. I'm the only woman he ever been with. So let me tell you something. That's why I got on y'all fucking asses. But other than that, yo, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your opinion of me. 
I want my souls for God. What the fuck is y'all doing? Sitting around like, eh, eh, eh. As pastors, get the fuck out of my face, pastors. You got a church. Go spend 24 fucking hours trying to figure out how to save your congregation. Right. How to keep your congregation away from my channel. That's what you do. Keep your ass and your congregation away from my channel every day for 24 hours. Right. 24-7. Teach your congregation how to fuck to stay away from me. Why don't you get on and stay on for 24 fucking hours so your congregation can look at you and not me, dear pastors, who are calling me a fucking antichrist and a whore. My life, my body, my children is my husband's business. That's it. I don't run my husband. Yes, I'm a hajime. Yes, I'm the empress. Yes, I'm the blood-born royalty. So he has to respect my position. But in the house, I respect him as the man, the husband, the leader. I don't tell my motherfucking husband what to do when we in the house. Amen. Oh, excuse me. And I don't tell my husband what to do in business neither. Right. When I have to be my hajime, trust me, my husband already know what the fuck is going on. Long before I do. They just come to me for the strategy. Or to speak to let motherfuckers know. Or to lay motherfuckers down. Because I ain't in the mood that day. To even talk to y'all about shit. Or to even let my men war. Fuck that. Y'all ain't warring for shit. American president sent motherfuckers over here to, 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 to cause trouble two years later. These people been knew about me and they had no problem. Now they do over some cash. Yo, let me tell you something. Over some bitcoins, over some promises. Let me tell you motherfuckers something. Over some food stamps, let me tell you motherfuckers something. You won't go to the Ukraine and rile nobody up over some food stamps. Right. No, the fuck you won't. They got jobs. They don't need fucking food stamps. Why they gonna quit being in the military to get on fucking food stamps? Right. That's dumb as hell. Right. And they know it was dumb as hell. But I had to let motherfucking Ukrainians know. I know the fuck you didn't even. I know the fuck you didn't even think you was about to get started. I am not putting my men in jeopardy because you want some fucking food stamps. And you got a goddamn job. You can go out and buy you some clothes. What you gonna buy with food stamps? Food. Right. You can go out and buy food. You can buy a car. You can buy gas for your car, and you can pay your apartment rent. Because you what? Work in my military. What the fuck buying food stamps going to do for you? Buy food. Right. Fuck on. You don't offer nothing that I offer. I have nothing to do with you Americans. Please do the same for me. Stop calling me a whore and shit. I ain't talking to y'all. Like I said, dear pastors, get the fuck on the websites and be on your websites 24 hours a day so your parishioners don't have to fucking look at me. And stop looking at me too with your nasty asses. Ain't y'all ain't y'all married? And tell your whore ass, bisexual ass wives to quit fucking looking at me complaining too. That's why they complaining, because they bisexual. Ew, look at them dad. She always got a thighs out. Tell your bisexual wife to stop wanting to eat my pussy, dear pastor.